Welcome everybody, I'm Music Nerd here. I'm gonna be doing a bit of a two-part video here, covering some music news that's been transpired over the past week. I wanna talk about the David Cross before this Phoebe Bridges feud that's been going on, as well as the 2021 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees and my predictions as to who's gonna get in. But as always, if you enjoy the content on this channel, if you enjoyed this video, show the support, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button down below. If you're a return subscriber, hit the notification bell to be alerted for new content. This is where we have gotten to in 2021. We have had a feud between David Crosby and Phoebe Bridgers. What, what the hell is going on? We haven't heard, you know, somebody asked David Crosby, folk singer, you know, used to be with the birds, um, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. And somebody asked him, hey man, what did you think about Phoebe Bridges as an album performance, her smash the guitar? And uh, he called it simply pathetic. And uh, Phoebe Bridges responded, calling David Crosby a little bitch. <laughs> Which is uh, pretty awesome. And David Crosby, you know, expounded on his comments, calling it, you know, the guitar smashing childish. You know, he hated, you know, the, the ambiance of the, the performance, hated the skeleton costumes. Uh, said that it was just old and like, you know, rehashed and done to death. Saying that guitars are for playing, they're not for smashing. Anybody who does it, it's it's just stupid and it takes away from the music. And then he had the nerve to say, guitar smashing is what you do if you can't write. Randomly, a flea of all people from the Red Hat Chili Peppers responded to Crosby saying, Hendrix couldn't write. I mean, look, this is... I don't see what the big fucking deal is. I mean, I don't really listen to Phoebe Bridgers like that. And I've never really been a fan of David Crosby. Uh, so I can't really give like a historical aspect to this. Uh, with Crosby, if he's always been like this, but uh, dude, take a fucking chill pill, man. Like what, what? what's the big deal? You know, why does this bother you so much? You know, you smash guitars if you can't write. I'm sorry, uh, Pete Townsend of The Who? I guess he wasn't a good writer. Yeah, Jimi Hendrix, yeah, I guess he wasn't a good writer. He didn't, he didn't write any memorable songs. Uh, Kurt Cobain, yeah, he smells like Teen Spirit, that's, 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 yeah, that's, that's garbage. Uh, yeah, All Apologies, garbage song. Nobody cared about that, so he couldn't write at all. You know, The Clash, uh, Strummer, Mick Jones, uh, you know, London Con, uh, nobody cares about that. It's, it's not important, they, they can't write, I mean, what the hell are you talking about? What a, what a fucking jackass. Listen, you know, we got to a point in society where people are just trying to expose their stupidity. You know, dude, if you didn't like the form, just say you didn't like it. That's all you had to say. But then going on this rant, you just sound stupid more and more. I mean, look, to say that guitars are for playing, not for smashing. I mean, it's called a fucking stage show. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, audiences love that shit. I mean, we've been loving stuff like that, theatrics. You know, look at Alice Cooper, David Bowie, Elton John. I mean, you know, they were great songwriters, great musicians, but it's about the theatrics of the show. It's about putting on a show. And that's what Phoebe Bridges was trying to accomplish. Now, listen, you don't have to like her performance, but to get all antsy about her smashing a fucking guitar, I mean, who gives a fuck? I mean, you know, is this, is this where we're at now in, in rock music? I mean, has it gotten so tame that even these legends that have been around, you know, contemporaries of these, you know, the punk scene, the metal scene, uh, even psychedelic rock, you know, Rolling Stones who were, you know, groundbreaking and, and, and going against the status quo. Now, you know, they're saying, uh, you know, uh, guitar smashing, uh, you know, Let's see. You know, it's too far. It's too far. Now, of course, Phoebe Bridgers, you know, she had a good sense of humor about it, and she seems to have taken it in stride. And honestly, if I were her, I wouldn't worry too much. This is going to get her much more exposure to the mainstream. David Crosby, his years are way behind him. Phoebe Bridgers has a long career ahead of her. It just boggles my mind what what, what people get, you know, strung out about and what's controversial. I mean, this is nothing. I mean, this has been going on in rock music for decades. I mean, rock musicians have been going against the status quo since Elvis Presley did in the 50s, you know, when he was showing his hits. I mean, this is nothing new. You guys grew up with this shit. You guys grew up with these type of music that, you know, broke the rules and was, you know, heavy and hard and and and, and now you're complaining about Fuji Bridges doing a Saturday Night Live. I mean, I, I really don't understand what's the big deal about this, but of course, you know, it's 2021, every little thing has to be a big deal, so 
uh, yeah, definitely the strangest feud uh, <laughs> to come apart uh, this week. Next thing I want to talk about is the 2021 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees. Well, the nominees, not the inductees. They're gonna have the inductees in a couple of months. A couple of new artists have joined eligibility, including Jay-Z, Blue Fighters. I wanted to go over the list and say who I think is going to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame this year and who's gonna be snubbed. A Mary J. Blige, R&B legend, queen of hip hop soul. I think she won't be inducted this year. She will be eventually. I think that there are others you know, that as we go on, are just gonna be inducted first. Kate Bush, I'm surprised she's now in the Hall of Fame already. I mean, you know, definitely has been influential in indie rock and, uh, you know, in the new wave, synth pop era. She wasn't as huge as her contemporaries, but for her influence alone, I think that she deserves to be in this year. People still talk about Hounds of Love and Running Up the Hill as being an incredible song, and that was released in the mid 80s. Kate Bush has had an influence on Bjork, Fiona Apple, you know, tons of like great artists that have come apart in the 90s and 2000s, so for that alone, Kate Bush deserves to be in. Devo, I mean, definitely influential with new wave music. Should they be in? I, I would like them to be in, but I see the Hall of Fame kind of like pushing them out to another year. Foo Fighters, yeah, I think they're gonna be in the Hall of Fame this year. They just released an album, they're in the news. They've been a mainstay in the rock scene for 20 years now. Although personally, I haven't enjoyed their recent music. I think that the fact that this band is still one of the biggest rock acts out going into their fourth decade as a band, still selling reasonably well, they're gonna be put in. The Go-Go's, now, the Go-Go's are the first all-female band to have an album hit number one the Billboard charts. I think for what they did in the 80s, uh, they deserve to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I mean, that is a huge accomplishment. They wrote their own songs and they were responsible for kind of being one of the first American New Wave bands to go platinum, to be on MTV. Huge influence on, you know, the Riot Girl movement, bands like Slater Kenny and beyond, you know, any female rock band or female band in general owes a debt to the Go-Go's. So they have to be in the Hall of Fame. Iron Maiden, huge cult fan base. Don't know too much about them. I know a couple of their songs. I mean, their merchandise always sells. I always see people wearing Iron Maiden shirts. Uh, will they be put in? You know, historically metal bands, it takes them a while to get in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We know this. I think they're gonna be snubbed this year, but I think they will be in in the next couple of years. Jay-Z, I mean, that's a no-brainer. Dude's gonna be in. I mean, what else there's to say? It's, it's, it's Jay-Z. Shaka Khan, she was already in the Hall of Fame, I think, with Rufus. As a solo artist, you know, as we all know, you know, I feel for you. She's had a, a you know decent solo career in the 80s. You know, of course, I know her from you know, the Through the Wire from Kanye West. That's how I first knew about her. I think she will eventually get in, but I don't think so this year. Carol King, her album Tapestry is one of the biggest selling albums of all time. Huge solo music career. I think she's gonna be put in, you know, timeless classics. It's too late. You make me feel like a natural woman. And of course, you know, what she's done as a songwriter you know, influencing kind of like, you know, the piano, balladry, soft rock movement of the 70s and beyond. There wouldn't be artists like Lana Del Rey, Lady Gaga, Lord without Carol King. So she's, she should be in the Hall of Fame this year. Bill Kuti, stemming from Nigeria, you know, paving the way for Afrobeat and, and world music, even though I hate that term. The guy definitely was innovative, blending Afro-Cuban music with jazz and funk and soul and paved the way for a lot of, you know, people that weren't associated to that genre previously uh, to get into Afrobeat. Guys like, you know, Paul Simon, you know, Peter Gabriel, even Talking Heads, you know, they were all influenced by this guy. I don't think he's gonna get in this year, but for his contributions to music, he should be in very soon. Ella Cool J, I mean, we all know what Ella Cool J is. Has had hits upon hits upon hits. Put it bluntly, uh, Jay-Z's gonna be the token rap nominee this year. I can just see it. So I think Ella Cool J won't get in this year because of that. New York Dolls, cult band, obviously paved the way for punk music. Wasn't around a lot. And for that, I think that's what's gonna hurt them to not get in, but Obviously, you know, if it were me, I, I would put them in, but I can just see the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame just, 
you know, these kind of cult artists from the 70s and 80s that were associated with the punk and, and glam scene, it, it takes them a while to kind of get in, like Roxy Music and T-Rex, like it took them a while to get in, so New York Dolls, I don't see them getting in this year. Rage Against the Machine, I, you know, for better or for worse, they were huge in paving the way for new metal acts, rap metal. Aside from the Beastie Boys, Rage Against the Machine was like the first serious band to, you know, kind of make sure that rap metal wasn't a joke. And they, you know, for me, I'm a big Rage fan. You know, all their albums have been solid. I don't see them getting in this year, but I, I do think that they should eventually get in for their contributions to music. Todd Rundgren, huge in the 70s, kind of, you know, along with Carole King, the soft rock movement. Uh, I think he's been around the, the ballot for a while. Yeah, I think he's gonna get in this year. Tina Turner, one of the biggest comeback stories in the history of music. You know, she's already inducted with Ike Turner and you know, she just could have left it at that, be a legend. But she went on her own solo career, had a ton of hits in the 80s. What's Love Got To Do With It, Typical Male, even that uh, Bad Max song. She is a huge um, figure in music, blending rock and soul and R&B. Uh, you know, there would be no Beyonce, Janet Jackson without Tina Turner, the, even to her 70s. She's just astounding. She should get in this year. I would love to see her get in this year. Dionne Warwick been around since the 50s. And, uh, you know, I think Dionne Warwick could get in this year, but not for what you think. You know, Dionne Warwick has been around Twitter. She's actually been relevant because she's on Twitter and she's become a, a celebrity uh, on that front. So she's been in the news. You know, people want to see her give her speech and, and uh, you know, talk about you know, her career. So I think for that, I mean, she should already get in for her music contributions, but, you know, you know how these things go. I think for her outright social media presence and uh, her newfound celebrity status, I think that she's gonna get in this year. So those are my predictions. We'll see what happens in a couple of months. Thank you for checking out this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section about uh, the Phoebe Bridgers, David Crosby feud. What do you think about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nominees? Who do you think is gonna get in this year? Who do you think is gonna get snubbed? YouTube recommends these two other videos to check out after this one. Until next time, peace.